like Slight was not uh, you know an incredible <laughs> opera to be honest with you and, and, until he started every land playing out with any team you could find yeah. any player any four players you could find he was just there uh, and making deep runs as well and I, I think he got a big boost in his career because of it face off look at this big wings we're not really a little body block there for sure, though. and Dia by the way is back in the server he's connected okay but J chance Gonna answer back with two headshots, not the third. So B site looking pretty clear here. It's, it's actually turning it back to middle. It's gonna put it down to grave. As he swings, it's gonna be peeping. Instant headshot. Chaos over towards B has take flight, try to get aggressive. Elevate side swipe. And we got a one versus three for zombies. Yeah, ready to catch that aggression. Do so with no problem. We do have Dia back. So that was, uh, we got double bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> we got the reverse fakey to the D up secured. So a bit of a roller coaster of emotions here to kick off the pistol and our map. But uh, hey, it wouldn't be a roller coaster of emotions if it wasn't an A. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I, I I can only assume that's why we had a little bit of delays getting into this as well. <laughs> yeah, probably. Frank, you said, oh, wait, I'm not playing today. <laughs> Back on the bench. Unfortunate ah. news. He's like, oh, it's finally my chance to be in the sun. Frankie wait, wait, is Frankie, a quality Frankie's player. on the server. No, he is. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. He thought he was showing up today. He's like, you guys don't need me? All right. I'm well, I think he's on the team. <laughs> oh, man. You know that's uh, Drake with the UK basketball team. Isn't that uh, who isn't that on the, the UK? Who on the on the UK Drake? basketball team? No, no, I I, I don't I, we don't say that name. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Drizzy. Yeah, sure, sure, I guess. The Six God. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a Drake fan. My fault. No, I'm not. I'm, I just figured because you're from California, you loved Kendrick. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I do. That's why I don't speak his I, name. But I guess, but I guess, you know, you, you're just a big Drake fan. It's okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Shut up, Cole. All right. Back and, back and board here in the force by. As we do a J chance. Double swing in with Servo. That's a lot of information working here for Elevate. They're going to start pressuring towards Cave now that they know multiple players over towards Ramp. J Chance not going to be fighting that, and he'll burn down to 5 HP. There can be some wall bangs here, and it will connect on the J Chance. Back into the 4 on 4. Not a bad way to equalize with massive space as well. They just have so much real estate in this position. That's going to help out a little bit, though. Servo. Wall bang action. Going for the re peak on the angle. Nearly able to clothesline him on the inbound. What's this going on on what's, the site? What's, what's How is he still kicking? Wait, oh, is zombie disconnected. Wait, he disconnected. Oh. He disconnected. He's a ghost, not a zombie. Yeah, that's uh, a truly undead right there. It's actually, <laughs> it's a three on three this whole time. The scarecrow. I like the ghost thing. That was actually kind of cool. That's like a, that is some poetry right there. But what's not, Peeping's going to have to make some magic out of that. And he does. Mollied out into the open and does get a kill anyways. It's now two versus two. Dia finishes the job on the servo, and it just leaves Grave Kevin. Between the different angles, and Dia back in the server trying to really fight for his roster spot here. He's up with a triple. So what more do you need from me? I can rifle. <laughs> I can op. I can win us rounds. I can wall bang. I can do it all. That's why they said take a week off. Just in that vacation, even, maybe. <laughs> but come back stronger than ever. And that's, uh, again, that's what I kind of feel like Elevate have done. Painted a pretty scary picture at the start of the season with so many upgrades in the NA scene. Everyone, right. you know, maybe besides M80, making big, strong changes. And still M80 going to be strong with the foundation that they've set. Oh, Wait. hello. Uh -oh. oh, oh, dear. No. Slides on past, but hold on. This little reaggression actually paying some numbers here. Two players do fall back, but dare. Oh, this is 
so ridiculous. Hello there wow. for one and two, and the round's over. He just took that flank all the way to the house. No hesitation on that. And just takes down two in the back right there. One versus three for Grave again. <laughs> okay, come on now. Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, again. It's, this guy's ridiculous right now. He just ran through spawn and he said, hold on, let me go back in. I missed the spot. And he cleans him up. They're just playing some 4 fun Counter-Strike right now. <laughs> That's what I call that. And it's only stuff you can get away with if they let you. And uh, they just took it, like you said, all the way to the bank. I, I mean, I can't even blame them on, like, communication breakdown. I imagine they said, like, one through Red Room. I just don't think you expect them to be flanking into B, like, full sprint like that. They, they probably demand a little bit more respect in these matchups. Elevate not oftentimes the team to give oh. you that respect and there's already through red room once again i mean yeah great regression oh it doesn't matter dia close lines you on the inbound j chance gets a wake up call what do we ever kevin here i mean tough angle good shadow advantage Dan okay. gets two and seabass found one as well yeah i mean the off zone still in a difficult position back of triple dare does get himself behind the back boxes good he though Making life awkward and Dia on low HP not helping either. And there goes Seabass. Second for him. And this A site defense doesn't lose a single player. I thought he was starting off so terribly with J Chance again just getting blasted. Lose this one off, but he's unfortunate. Multi kills and a perfect grenade from Zombie will get take flight their first round. Shout out Kevin, man. Shout out Kevin in a main. Probably just straight up saved that round. Two kills in a position where he was kind of one and done. But that double up offers up a world of opportunity. That was for Seabass next at bat. Not a bad save from, from Kevin. Doesn't allow them to, to get comfortable whatsoever. It's a big impact. And here we have it. Right back into the guns. Not a lot of splitting up right now being done. Just pack unit once more. And they're ready to meet them at the punch. They are the tick of the molly. That's going to be a wake up call. Great flash. Almost baits them into oh, that peak. No. But he can't choose a target. And it doesn't pan up for any kills. At least again, Hold Kevin on. saving them in servo alongside it. Yeah, they're still playing out in the open right now. And then the op of Seabass with no punish oh. here. We'll be able to fire off an op shot. Wall bangs there for J Chance and everyone going down towards B main. They kind of just hung out a little too long. And peeping's been seen. Should just call in the end of this one, or is it? Is this is this one really over? With a minute on the clock and in a one versus three. Peeping is not done yet. Still kicking. That's the bomb. This could be a position where you can show your, show your opponent a little too much respect, but it's a good thing no one's that they're all committing on this B site. As long as they have three here, it should be a pretty comfortable trade. Oh my goodness. Wait, he has an isolated fight on to zombie. Oh, oh, what you... <laughs> okay. Just, just fire a shot through the smoke, I guess. Uh, <laughs> never mind. No clutch happening today. Wow. All right. Bit anticlimactic. <laughs> that, that's a way to shut down a 1v3. Painting the picture there, but uh, yeah, the quick denial. All he had to do is shoot through the smoke. Never lose a clutch again. Never lose a 3vx situation. Just spam the smoke. It's actually wild that like no one was even towards the middle either. I mean, each could have just sprinted towards A. It was site. Yeah. Well, sprint towards middle here. Fine. Oh, no. Everyone's Traffic out of ammo. Jam. The Traffic running through. Jam. No, no. The clocks. There's no way they're actually going to get this down. Yeah. Grave gets another magazine in. Oh, my goodness. Everyone had their knife out behind the smoke. <laughs> and there was a Glock train heading Mach 2 at them. Oh, man. A bit of a pile up there in Red Room. Doesn't get out of control, but. Could have been so much worse. If there was any better weapon than a Glock. Glock keeping. Oh, no. Just too prepared for that. A bomb plan at the very least. That's a victory in a certain sense, but. Oh, that Nate's gonna deal. Worse. Oh, yeah, he's, he's very dead. And, I mean, the Glock train. 
Choo choo. Legendary locomotive commissioned back in. I don't know when the Glock was in was commissioned, but you know, I don't know if they they're really out here commissioning trains in the year of our Lord 2024, but. Glock 18. 1986. The Glock train commissioned in 1986. Go. It, it it shows up from time to time. It's like a ghost train. You know, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily ride on rails. It just appears when the whole team doesn't spend a single dime. It's most dangerous when it's off tracks. <laughs> it's a mythical mythical mirage right there. But when they run through smoke, that's pretty deadly. Yeah. The Glock train actually gets faster as it goes through smokes. J Chance again just really wants to brawl towards this B ramp side. But at the moment, it's finally Elevate who are taking space. Dare out towards middle is just being a problem. He's already pushed through CT spawn, by the way. And he's already basically oh flanked Dare. God. Dare is just doing whatever he wants right now. Ah. On this map of Agent, he just ran through the whole team. Triple kill for Dare. This round Take is over. Easy, Dare. Oh my gosh. He, again, you missed a spot. He's trying to finish off Grave again. Oh my goodness, Dare when Diaz on this line just gets to run around and have fun with the rifles here. And Graves extremely dead. Wow. He's fighting for his life. It gets an extra kill on the peeping at the very least. But yeah, Dare's just playing no respect counter-strike out middle. Usually this is a position that needs a lot of love, needs a lot of resources. Please flash me out middle. But Dare is actually charging through and deleting the entire mid and then because of that b setup by himself multiple rounds um I just ha he's having a fun old time with it i'll tell you that much oh that's a good start out mid at least here for elevate once again just continually putting on the pressure uh and uh, Servo, he's gonna step forward. Again, mechanically in play here. Diaz also gonna make a lot of noise on said fallback. Servo's not gonna chase. We got an awkward two versus two here. Very awkward. I mean, kind of knowing where Snav is, knowing where Diaz is as well because of that HE and the fall off. And Zombie's gonna position himself just in time. We'll see again this timing be another factor just a little bit later down the line. As he clears out this long side, he just tanked so much damage. And now both players are low. Yeah. Could even be a single bullet for Servo. Uh, oh, AG will make it so. And then a Molly as well. They're just going to have to wait, sit on their hands for a little bit. As all this utility has to fade, time being burned off the clock, and basically no HP, a ninja diffuses off the table. It's got to be some ridiculously fast shots. Run. Snaps. Yeah, I think I think the run is the best thing. They're trying to be patient. They're hoping for an overpeak. And Snav with Dia is just going to put that one to rest. It's going to be 6-3 here for Elevate. They're starting to trounce ahead here on Ancient. That's a, a good reaction. I think Dara's getting away with a little too much free real estate towards middle so the next play is to have take flight stack it and then guess what they do they just nade stack and and fly out middle with multiple players this time this time dare not alone in its efforts find a double entry because of it i think that's next in the you know what is the reaction of take flight versus what do we do next with this uh space that they're giving us double smoke uh red room just in case they he one smoke Didn't quite get communicated, <laughs> but uh, someone's got the instant lineup, and someone's got the or two players got the instant lineup. Could be. J, dude, J Chance just lives on B ramp, and well, no longer. He's also just dead on B ramp as well. I think that's actually been the case lives for a lot dies. of these rounds. Yeah, you know what? Circle of life over on B ramp. How about that? Oh, see you later. MP9 will get just one. But uh, the hunt is on. Servo is a wanted man out in middle. And he's been heard. And now <laughs> just barely escape the law for now. Are you kidding me? Elevate are not even going to plant the bomb. Okay, now Dia will get his running shoes on, but... 
<laughs> the wall bangs from cave are unreal. Tiniest amount of respect being shown, not charging forward, but servo. And people oh, the bare play. minimum. Ring around the rosy. Yeah, just planting the bomb was the amount of respect that they'll show you. <laughs> like, fine, fine, we won't just chase you down. Yeah, it's looking like seven rounds here for Elevate. Like, look, we've had a couple of decent rounds, but I think it would be more courtesy of some mistakes from Elevate. I just remember the one round where everyone's just kind of hung out to dry in B main and getting collapsed in upon. No one's really fighting for space, but instead holding angles. And in CS2, the meta is to swing everything. You do not want to be the player being swung. It's a... Uh, it's not a dog-eat-dog -dog world, but it is a swing swung. or get swung world, swing I think. Swing or get swung. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. That's what they say. Swing or get swung. And they've been doing a whole lot of that so far. They've learned their lesson how to elevate. They've been super aggressive. Oh, oh. wow. Wow. That ain't happening. So that flash swing into three. Yeah. Also, that flash was so unfortunate because it just popped behind a little part of that wall. Now, Servo does actually answer back with the wall bangs, but oh, snap, finds one out ah. middle and a missed op shot from Seabass. Instant <laughs> entry from Shane. That's what one op shot feels like. You miss that. Then your side anchor gets deleted. Now Peeping is walking up in towards Red Room. Seabass is about to be dead if he doesn't take his gun out. Back right now. And that's just what the punish is. Like. Servo over here towards B main will get deleted. And Elevate are just running through take flight at the moment. You're not saving this time, my friend. Not this time around. And a little bit of patience put on display. I feel like Elevate just really prepared for next move always uh in these rounds like they just wait out utility three players even if the flash would have worked you wonder how much you could have gotten at the best of that maybe it would have been a little bit better but you know three individuals just looking at location i think the only one that the uh, only way they get more comfortably into that round is maybe if that uh op oh, shot lands but no servo not quite fully clearing things is going to cost him there's more to press that smoke, and you know PP's not going to respect that smoke. Of course he's oh! not. He's just going to charge on forward, close things out with these, and elevate. They stomp their way to a ninth round. We'll be tossing this one to a quick break, and once we come back, a second half.
And so 9-3 is where we stand here. You know, you're you're talking a little bit about it. Elevate are kind of in this mode. They're in the for fun mode. They're underhand flashes through the smokes. And that is a bad time for any team that's facing this unit. And it's even worse if they get away with it. Yep. <laughs> um, you know, maybe if there was some, some punishment on the other side, it'd be a little bit better if they were making those moves. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. They're getting away with this, and uh, it's a tough oh position to find yourself in. Duelies! Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Actually, Absolutely. something. They just got one. Oh, but they actually just got eviscerated by one P250 there from Seabass, and... Wow. Well, that's kind of just how pistol rounds go. If, if you don't hit all the instant headshots, like, you could have the perfect setup, and they did. They had three players on A. Uh, you do need to hit that. That is such a sick shake peek there from Shane to spot out oh. the headshot, the shoulder into the oh. headshot, and now it's a one versus one. How have we even gotten to this point? There's still plenty of time as well. Dare could theoretically want to chase this kill, but he's worried about CT spawn instead. And well, he does pick up a Got kit. kit. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to start something up. Servo on the other side. Time getting low. And Servo going to just hit the jump peak. And. Well, Uni's hit the headshots, I guess. Just let the bomb do the work. Heavy lifting done by the C4. Take flight, we'll at least get a pistol. Yeah, and a 1v1, that's just the best uh, position to be on in the in the map, for sure. Almost unlosable if you're in Donut. And you're in that 1v1, you can just keep jump peeking. Keep uh, getting them off the bomb. In any f form or fashion, so a near impossible position, even though Dare does a good job of pulling it back as well as Shane. With the quickness but uh, as you had mentioned sometimes you can have the best setup on a pistol round and if you don't have the uh, internet shot if you don't set the tone uh, it doesn't quite go your way well, maybe that'll bring him back a little bit more confidence here on this map victory like that didn't inspire much not doing too much damage so far, but they still have two more huddled around, and there's only two players on this B site. Selling the fake so far successfully when you find all the kills. And <laughs> Seabass continuing to do some damage. Meanwhile, it's on the other side of the map. Not the move being made. Yeah, this MAC-10 is just going to make a ton of cash on the way out. $600 kill reward bonus. And 19 HP remaining here for Dia. Come on, any day now. I'm checking my watch. Oh, Dia is even just running towards the bomb. You know what? That's actually the smart thing here for Dia. If he really wants to get finicky with it, he denied $300 by not dying to said MAC-10. And they got it over with. So, first two rounds going here to take flight. First gun round coming through here for Elevate. I gotta bring out the tools. It's funny to see such a like mechanically strong team, maybe like kind of a, a flashy roster that almost never second round four spies. They always get those rifles. It's it's like their principle. And I'd expect them to be the opposite. I expect them to love a good Deagle four spy, but they're disciplined in that sense. Like they just are they have zero interest in those like Five seven rounds. I think like ancient's a map that you can win a lot of force buys on too. So, just like those rifles that much, Snavs wanted to show exactly why, but not quite able to seal the kill open. Instead, that's going to be going on towards a side peeping, blocking in one kill, and not being too interested in sticking around, spamming oh. the smoke and collecting another. That is devastating. They've lost their lurk already, and Grave gonna have himself a. Really tough time of figuring out a way to try and play at this bomb. Yeah, I mean, peeping, just playing basically reclined at the back of his seat over towards the A site. That is a nice kill from Grave, but ooh, he's going to try and get finicky with this. I kind of like it. Falling back through middle instead, you know, the usual play to just sprint through B. He's actually going to walk back through A main. If he did this with a little less hesitation, I would say, like, this guy's a genius. This guy's a madman. It's just a bit of trickery. Nah, but uh, Peeping is back. He's in his uh, lazy boy couch right now. 
This is prime peeping territory. Peeping yeah. into the A site. Oh, that's so ridiculous. He just got three kills from one spot. There's a line of X's on the mini map. It just took, you know, another minute later for Graves to die in the same spot that his entire team did. <laughs> just needed to be part of the team. Sometimes that's what matters <laughs> most. It's about fitting in. It's like high school. You did a good job in that sense. No swirlies today. Just a half by. Gonna pop through the smoke, it feels like. And Dia's gonna be the first one to greet them with a smile. Oh, he's gonna block them. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's right in front, and there's two. Certainly to be followed up there with Dare. He actually does go down, but more players. There's just a sea of CTs. As there's no pushing through that torrent of gunfire there for take flight. It's 11 to 5. Knocked that one out of the park. Yeah. I thought he was just going to block him. Imagine that flash comes through and you start hearing the footsteps shuffle, but then you never see any T surface. But they make it through. Not the end of the world. A couple trades here there. Apply a little bit of economic damage into the mix. Now again, this is kind of the final stand for this, uh, this gun round. You gotta make something work. Right here and right now. Molly's pretty good. Taking down some damage. A little bit frustrating for the CT side. Can't comfortably stand. Back to middle. Oh, they returned to the same blender that they just left. Now, Servo does walk through a smoke. That gives him a chance. And also, C pass. Getting finicky over towards that A site, but he's going to have to make a move. Like, he actually has to find impact. He can't just, like, walk through A. They need kills. Ooh, is Shane aware of this possibility? This would be ridiculous. Hold on, Shane could see it out the corner of his eye, but instead he turns away. Seabass, oh, he sees multiple. There's one in front of him, and there's a double. Seabass won't escape. Dia, but Grave is there with a the trade. Seabass does find is. that impact. Yeah, I mean, he spotted Shane at the start of this flank. So it's no secret. They just rush it down and towards that A side. Number's going to be punched in, and this could be the saving grace. If it wasn't for the fact that they have Shane up in this clutch up against him. He has a smoke and a kit to play off as well. And he just about is going to pluck one out. No, not quite. Can't catch Grave. So it complicates the matter just a little bit. All right. So, he's going to just start the stick. Oh, no way. No oh. way. They're not. They're just stuck it in front of two players. You have got to be kidding me, Grave. Oh, he even got away. Seabass with the perfect flank. And... Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that, Cole. Fish paste. That's what they're saying right now. <laughs> what? What? Is that? Fiddlesticks. Where did that come from? Fish paste? I think that's close to the most Kentucky thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it's from SpongeBob. Is it actually? Well, it sounds yeah. Kentuckian enough. I mean, really, we don't know... Is, is, actually, is actually, there's no C's in, uh, in Kentucky, unfortunately. Because they do specify that he does live on un Apple under the sea. So. Could be in Kentucky. SpongeBob, most, most prolific Kentuckian. Colonel Sanders, step aside. He's a close number two. Close number two. Oh, man. I know Illinois tries to claim Abraham Lincoln, but he's born in Kentucky, so what does that mean? <laughs> they ain't taking him. And it doesn't look like take flight. Oh, Whoa. they're taking that A site. Hold on. Give it to J Chance, but he could not hit the same style onto there. Double up here. Servo can't find his either. A sick entry, but that is all. As elevate. 
are going to be storming through ancient 13 to 5 here cole it's going just about as according to plan and they're having fun while doing it yeah getting away with a whole lot on an individual front you, know, you can see as uh, as we'd mentioned you never want their underpinning a flash through smoke and, and just winning these fights but he was getting away with that so much on that t side i can only imagine the smiles on his face as uh, you know every round flowed by uh so successfully uh for elevate but kind of to our expectations a little bit well i i know that it said when dia was not playing or initially was not in the surfer that we were a little concerned but you know he's there and this roster's looked good with him so uh that that to me is is kind of elevate performing with expectations and having fun doing so yeah i mean i can kind of understand why they're messing around with like dia in and out of the lineup because it's the role that dare wants to play in the team does he want a primary off or does he want to become this kind of ridiculous See, aggressive rifler right that's that's the thing but like then frankie's filling in an opping form and i'm like okay the, like, what's going on there you know, I'm just I'm just a little concerned because I think Dare could have easily slotted in. I just don't know if Dare really likes CS2 offing. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I mean, there's a lot of preferences, a lot of question marks uh, in the mix. And, I mean, I think everyone just kind of playing up to snuff. Could a player to watch here for Shane? Sometimes when the going oh, gets yeah. tough, uh, the lovely 8 and 10 scoreline because he wasn't, abs he wasn't needed in any of these rounds. Let's be real. He's playing some of the more difficult roles and well he's just there he just exists to be traded out by there or the i guess the rest of the team in general hey shane's one concern i think with the his play style is winning and when he drops those numbers and he wins 13-5 or when he's dropping 130 adr uh and, and wins 13-5 he's just as happy i think either way so yeah i mean uh, either way uh, it's a strong victory and and it wasn't him on the individual front it feels like that was super required but mm -hmm. he's not concerned about that at all yeah, we're going to go ahead and toss this one off to our next BO1, though, as we're going to re-roll that veto, see which map we get, and run it back here between Elevate and Take Flight. We'll see if they can bounce back, show a little bit more form here after a little bit of a break.
And so we shook up the veto here, and for our second BL1 of the night, we're going to be landing on Dust 2 between Elevate and Take Flight. I'm fine, Drop Call Extra McHenry, back in the saddle here for ECL Season 48, and trying to close out the night with something a little bit more competitive here on D2. Excited to see what we can see on uh, D2. Looking forward to it. We just saw Elevate kind of run away with things in that last map. And now they have another, you know, again, map that they're have a lot of confidence on and been able to play some of these good opponents on as well perfect flashbang and the charge into the a site somewhat successful it, yeah they could have just looked at playing the bomb with the man advantage now yeah they just pre-fire every single angle and well the kills start to come through dare does get gooshed up and the bomb plant is taking a bit of time to come on through but dare will get it in it's gonna be a catwalk approach for the retake zombie with a headshot but now getting caught out in the open and just too many angles to handle. Shane and Dare combine. And Elevate will pick up there first. I've taken charge right there. Asserting some dominance. Is Elevate. Great flashbang to start off the long cross. Sometimes can be a scary prospect on a pistol round. Never want to make that first move. But with that extra flashbang landing so well. They're not scared so ever. Here we go. Long spawns galore. So we're gonna get, get this old thing. Three flashes out. Dia already taking space and just doesn't look like this one has much legs to it. We'll see what they can do though again on this long cross. Um, well, wow. that's a, Is that just a scout dark? tag and a. Scout tag shot? and a deagle <laughs> shot basically at the same time. I get two guns, make one. AWD works Ooh. out. What? Double kill in from Grave, and oh no, Dare could not convert. Okay, but weirdly enough, Cole, Snap's not out of this. Like, in the minds of Take Flight, he could be anywhere. Oh, but he's going to reveal his position and also using those elevated boxes to continue moving towards that site. Snap is going to get sneaky with it. I think a zombie is holding this with a scalp. He does sneak past. Snap for one. Oh, but Seabass does get it done with the MP9 on low HP. I mean, can you even consider that a force buy? I guess you can. Seabass didn't really purchase anything. And well, it pays off for take flight. I think he was the only one, but now they pick up three AKs. And that is a big upgrade for take flight. Getting it around earlier than they expected. Maybe two rounds earlier. Seabass was most likely saving it for that AWP for a fourth round investment and instead gets an MP9 to farm up some eco kills here potentially. That is a excellent steal. Take flight and exactly what they needed to start off this map. Okay, but there's been a strange amount of control just taken, and silently as well, from Elevate. Zombie's going to be first at bat. Imagine if he just gets slammed here by the scout. Well, not going to happen just yet. He'll survive. Maybe he can call back some support. There's a flashbang over top, but, you know, kind of a swing and a miss here. Elevate just putting on the pressure through the defense. Look at the shuffles that they're forcing at the moment. He's going to siphon out a molly with a minute on the clock. Shuffling about continuously. They are shaking. Elevate don't want to make that first move. Finally, Dare's willing to take charge. And a big headshot comes out. A little no, bit of no. a labored spray as well from G Chance. Can't quite connect. So Servo next at bat. And there's a scout. And he's alone on the B side. No he's quick seen. transition. No quick rotation. That Molly's Molly a little too late. Oh, will I get out in time is the question. Peeping closing the gap in here with the Tech-9. And Servo cannot hold on. Massive kill there for Peeping. Zombie, though, with a kill back in. And a second, and maybe even the third. Dia, Ooh. scout not good enough. Zombie gets all three to save the round for take flight. Actually done. Zombie saving the day. Could have been very bleak. Instead, they hold on to it. 
get past the force bite. Doesn't matter how scrappy it is, they just get the job done. That's all that was kind of necessary. And now they have a chance to stabilize the economy. Three or two eagles and a tech knife, so they get really rock us, so. Nothing crazy. And the op immediately gets swung, of course. Hmm. So Shane's just gonna walk out middle. Oh my goodness. And they know where this op is. They generally can say yes, it's playing over towards B. It's playing very passive, but look at this. Oh no, the timing as he's pulling pins on flashes. They push an upper tons as well, but this is risky. This is so risky. Now Servo's been seen. They're gonna try and chase, but right into a setup. Well, Servo with the second player backing him up. It's going to be plenty enough to hold on to this. That makes four. And a third round for take flight. It's gonna get off to a good start. Got an amazing start for take flight. On this CT side, so much damage. Yeah, done. That one a more stable round alongside it again. That's that economy being kind of secured. Elevate. I mean themselves. To the task right now of getting an answer back. Good response from Take Flight already. Oh, the op is oh. very lackadaisical oh, on, no. uh, on that round. Once you get those flashes that long, you'd maybe expect them to be out, but he had no anticipation that they'd be swinging that quickly. Okay, but there can be some elevated angles. You know, with these the new box here on Dust 2, this long cross is far from certain for the T's. And Grave even gonna slink out behind these smokes. It's a very risky position. He is untradeable. He needs to deliver. And for peeping, he's just gonna wait for the smokes to fade. I love this actually. Just really just pausing. Grave has no idea how close they really are. I mean, shoot, if he swings out a little too far, Peepy might see his barrel. Look at this, just the ridiculous patience we are seeing at the moment. And, slink forward, and the headshot peekaboo says peeping. And a three versus five, another re-smoke for that long cross. They're still reconsidering, like they are still very hesitant on turning it on back. And now Servo with two low HP players, it is possible, but the off angle is too good from Snap. So, Elevate will put that round to rest. Charging down that last kill. Hunting. On that. They seal it. That is such a smart gameplay, man. I, I saw it, uh, again, that NA Revival Cup. They, they had the, a very similar thing. They just paused there for so long. Everyone just waits for overextensions and... You know, at some point, the, uh, peeping last time when he was in that position was able to flank a guy CT that jiggled and saw nothing. And that was how they, they got it effectively and then transferred that to a kill onto Catwalk. This time he just, again, in such a powerful position, only takes him one little peep through and peeping gets the kill. I always thought that was one of like the, the oddest nicknames in NACS. Hold on. Oh my- What? Uh, MP9 is a gun, I guess. Uh, Dare's also just dead. No, never mind. Uh, he does hard clear the corner. I thought he was just gonna that's keep the... running through, but... Wait, that, yeah, that's that was a bomb in the spawn, so that's why it's complicated quite a bit. Yeah, hold on, but they know Servo's here. Dare is prepared, and he is. Servo is down. And a walk into the B site is... here, and yeah, Take Flight can't necessarily sprint so fast. They don't know what's hanging out towards the doors, and by that point... B's already free, but they have the B site. They're actually walking up long. Away. Yeah, it's like a... Oh no, Dare actually goes down. Wow. But it, it... What a surprise. This, this, this could have been, been a lot simpler. This could have been a lot simpler. Not gonna lie. Hold well, it's on. complicated even further. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Jump I mean, I mean it, it would just be fun. Yeah, sorry, it would be pretty boring if they just walked into the B side and planted the bomb. How, th how about we make things a little interesting here with Sea Bass? In one versus two, of course, Snap's looking for a, a bit of a biff, and, well, he will win it. <laughs> Elevate are really just. I mean, yes, they can win the round that way, but. 
not the most surefire way to win it, I will say. Unlosable. What do you mean? They're all over the map. Here, there, and everywhere. Playing some four fun. Counter strike. Ah! A little bit of a traffic jam there in spawn causes the smoke to go a bit awry. And the flash bangs out towards long. Don't stick around too long for a fight. Instead, it's a fuck there. Head on collision with the op. Sea bass escapes just barely. Don't die. Big fall damage. And the repeat. Oh. oh. Does it count if you're already dead? Yeah. Oh, and then Shane with a. I mean, wow. that's just the mechanics here from Shane. J chance wide swing. And Shane dismisses him with the headshot. Three versus four. And mid B split on the cars. Nades to the smoke trying desperately to get some vision here. Elevator actually going to pump the brakes on this one, though. And they're just going to walk back to tunnels. They're just going to put so much pressure here onto Servo, who has to be aware of window, has to be aware of tunnels. And, well, the first challenger is good. Going to keep repositioning. Diaz made his way out. Servo almost does it. Dia on one, but Zombie with a hard clear here, and we have a two on two. So winnable. Now all of a sudden, low HP for Dia, calling out that there's a dink. Snap, though, working magic around Dude. the Molotov. That is infuriating. Zombie gets plucked to pieces. Can't even make his way in. And isolating that duel is impossible. Snav. Just seal it, man. Oh. That is brutal stuff. What an angle. Even, like, Servo playing perfectly. Like, the, the, the composure in his aim, landing that headshot on the second player, and still getting leveled by a, the, the quickness from Elevate. Like, there's not a lot that Servo even could have done. I, I think doing the best he could have possibly. And it's not enough. I mean, it really is just that angle behind the flames from snap that's just ridiculous it just locks it up yes. uh we've got five pistols out long we're in for a train crash here there's the flashbang in and here comes the big swings how much damage can the pistols do i think the answer is not a lot These type of rounds typically don't work all that much and well for good reason firing squad available and it is five rounds to elevate and it is the uh, pistol of Dia did quite a bit of damage, so that's good. But unfortunately for that CT side, doesn't help all that much. His gun rounds come back through once more. But Elevate finding ways to break through the gun rounds. Do so with some comfort. Again, maybe a big slip up in the uh, in the second. But buttoning up since that point. Yeah, there. He's looking uh -oh. the wrong way. Oh, now he's looking the right way, and J Chance doesn't really get a kill back. HE! A little far off. A lot of damage, but kills are what matter. If it's a player who can hold a gun, he's good enough. Four on five. And you can't do that with zero HP. Unfortunately. You gotta have at least one. Waiting for the Halloween update. Where you can. Oh, no. Oh, Seabass missed that. That is that is just unfortunate. And also, Dia just ran out long and went one for one. That just puts so much pressure here on the zombie. Who's, oh, reloading in the open. And, well, I was about to say Death Slam's inevitable. He does actually convert the kill. But worse off here is the bomb plant. We'll get into pit though and make life awkward. You know, 14 HP and inside of pit, it's not bad. There's a headshot, but he loses his teammate in J chance. Now he's has has to go over the top and out of the trenches. Try and pull off this one versus two, and it's not looking like it. Not quite. Not of these positions. Wait a minute. Oh. Ooh. Or should I say dare? Zombie. Oh, oh wait a minute! Bullet. He all did that it. Was required. He, he has time. Uh, he's got this defuse in the back. Wow. Are you kidding me? He oh just my God. he just ace them. One versus three from Pit in essence. Oh, I hadn't. 
zero i would have given him zero percent chance to make that cross successfully he turns the corner and insta headshots okay zombie showing up in a big way that's a huge round from him again i mean whatever it takes to give take flight a uh, leg back into this you know this best of one didn't have the greatest success not the funnest time on ancient but so far in these rounds on dust too, capitalizing on elevates a couple of mistakes. Saw the op. Oh, sorry. Just wall, the wall bang? I, yeah, I guess. I, the sea bass is just not connecting right now. And in the meantime, elevator walking up the long cross. Oh, look at this from Dan. He's just he doesn't care. Oh, until he should, as sea bass does actually take him down. So, a four on four with some ambitious Counter Strike being played right now. See, Bass is jumping up right now. Up towards Cat. They... Right now, Shane could be in for a rude surprise. Instead, it's going to be a dry fight. Oh, it's going to be a dry fight. Right into Shane. Yeah, he's not missing those. Highest headshot percentage player here in the server. 62% over the last three months. Seabass, though, could try to put him to rest. No, it's Shane with the high impact frags here. 1v2 for Servo. Very winnable one again, and another clutch. That's so winnable. Low HP for Snap and Shane. That lurks so could have give him space to work. It went too deep. Oh, no. He has so many angles to deal with. I mean, he has to think about long, obviously about the ramp, even towards car. Planted over in the corner, though. Servo can start to make up his mind about where these players are playing from. First kill's good, but he just doesn't know where to look. And Snap pops up, finishes the job. Six rounds to elevate. I mean, tough to consistently ask your players to win out in these clutches. But that's a position that they have found themselves in at the start of these rounds almost every single time. At the end of the rounds as well. It just requires a couple hero moments from take flight to secure these situations and sometimes those just don't come through but i mean shane i think that's one of the reasons why i like watching so much the anticipation of two players there holding down that spray even just so confidently the fact that he just holds down that spray one it, it shows how good he is and, and how well anticipated he is of that you know, sort of move, but. Dare's just having fun. He's just like finding a part of the map and he just walks. He just holds down W on a certain part of the map. Sure. Your fun. It's going pretty well for you. And maybe making a couple of mistakes here or there. You still got yourself a lead and about to secure it in the half if you can close out versus this weaponry boost or just the jumping Mac 10. Doesn't want to test it too many times, and I understand why. Oh, hold on. Okay, could get a little finicky around the edge of the smoke then. Well, unfortunately, Shane is still in the server, who is 15 and 6 right now. That's Arcadia player to watch tonight. You know, only 8 and 10 in his 13-5 uh, victory on Ancient, and... As you were joking about, here's the 130 ADR game we're looking at. He's back. There you go. He can, he can do it both. This game, maybe more requirements. Again, another bit of a... Ooh, flub smoke, but Seabass says... I planned that flub smoke. Wait a minute, but uh, anyways. it's Dare leading the charge, of course. He picks a part of the map. He holds down W, Snav. Inside of spawn right now, he knows they push top middle. And uh, you want to start a flank? Wow. Well, here's this. Uh, J Chance might as well slam his desk as he thinks, why the heck is he there? Yeah, that one's a bit of a surprise. And it does create a, a bit of panic on the rest of the map, as you can see. Snap so with that one kill alone is keeping at least one player drawn away. And another with this catwalk smoke. I mean, this is just fantastic. 
bit of manipulation as there's one player on the site. Dare has claimed it. And he's in a forward position to cut off Catwalk, to cut off these repositions. The smoke for the cross is going to be good. And it, it's going to be in some fashion. I don't know how it's going to get there, but it's going to be a post plant. Eventually. And now oh. it's going to be a man advantage. <laughs> that is so fun. Had no idea. I love the... Yeah, the lurk there from Dare is so perfect. Because you just pause and... You know, with the silence on the map, you're just not ready for that kind of positioning. When there's silence on the map, the cross smoke is faded. And you think, oh, they're just going back in for second cervix. No, Dare's already on the play to catch people off guard. Really sick position. Three versus four. Behind the smoke here. Last round of the half. You gotta go for it. But it is looking quite difficult. It's gonna have you something magnificent and well that's not gonna happen shane with another triple 18 and 6 8 to 4. It's eight to four and Shane is going insane right now. I will have to say just 18 and six triple kills. What it feels like every round. He's playing what we expect out of this. You know, his peak is ridiculous and it's also quite entertaining. We're moving into the T side here for take flight. They've gotten off to the good start. They were up three to one, but it's quickly soured. Yeah, I mean, in doing so, I had to overcome a lot of struggles. Their fourth round was a big clutch as well. What do they have for here? J-Chance. For a rude awakening is that flash. There's one jiggle. There's that flashbang being tossed in. There's the dual Berettas. Oh, it could have been Ooh. two. Although Grave lands the headshot. 
lined it up. So not the end of the world. I thought that was just going to be the setup to delete that presence from Take Flight, but no, not quite fully. Now, we're on a little bit of a prayer there. Now, Snab is going to be in charge of Catwalk. Blinded up, though. The car player could be in trouble now. Snab needs to connect one here, as Shane was just going to be overwhelmed. Bomb's going to be able to cross. That's coming in through Cat, and you do have Grave playing this one out from Long. So, position's basically known here for the CTs as Dia walks up to Elevator. And, well... He's going to fire off a couple shots. Peeping also lands his. And Seabass, he had no armor, but the P250 good enough. Peeping, hopping around, looking for the target. He should know where he is. And now it's just down to Grave, who's not playing far away, mind you, but still lands the double gush to get that one done. Take flight will come through with the pistol to keep him alive. Just a clean pistol as well. Able to punish that aggression towards long with a one for one. I think that's best case scenario for you if you're take flight and then. Following that up with some success elsewhere. And now we're seeing a second round force buy. And as I had mentioned, this isn't a team that oftentimes will go for these sort of decisions. But scouts on dust too. They're always enticing. Oh, staff just taking up her tunnels away. There's a lot of control here for the CT side. The one thing, the one worry here is long. But they have two scouts to, to lock in for that. Forward angle here on Cat. Player inside of lower ton. Serva does just clear it out, though. And Snap will go down. Shane. Oh. Sees the jump up. Jay Chance will actually go down. Double things good enough. And Shane even escapes to make it a four on four. Maybe setting up a potential hold up catwalk. Oh! There is a scout tag and a no scope no falling way. back off the angle. Zombie's going to press it to an open B bomb site, but without the package. And now being covered, tagged down. Oh my god, repeak is not there for Dare, but the job nearly finished. Long range duel with that second scout. And a flank formulating from top med peeping could just secure it. Anyway, oh my god, they just walk right into the cat setup. You know, you can have the better guns, you can even have a man advantage, but you still have to solve the map, you still have to paint the picture. They had so much util as well to you know, toss up catwalk, and I think they just got caught in a position where they thought maybe they can just win by peeking into it. We've got the better guns, right? But that's not the case here. Well, that is going to rain on the celebrations. You pick up the pistol. Maybe you have a chance to get back into the game. Instead, you're down to Tech Nines and lose this round. You are fighting for your life. And Dia with a impeccable scout headshot to top mid. Keeping just swinging right now. A little risky down in lower tons. Zombie will collect one on the Tech Nine. And running out of ammunition, Shane will get cleaned up here by Grave. And the Tech Nines again will work out. Zombie gets two kills handed to him. And a 2v2. Back out long here, though. Grave moonwalking right now into an MP9. Both players, in fact, no one prepared for that. And a 1v2 here for Zombie. But. Uh, getting another kill just fed to him there in lower tunnels. Oh, but I love this move from Snap. Snap going all the way around. But he's just flying up catwalk. I mean, if it was a B-side play, could have been a masterful move. But now, Zombie again bailing him out and keeping pace with what Elevate have in store. It's already won them a massive 1v2 clutch and could just replicate it once again. Snav realizing that now it's punched in on this A site. He's got an HE. He's got a flashbang, but this reposition is just so strong from Zombie. Nate, though, was excellent, and Snav just kind of knows. Zombie, gonna play around the smoke and land a headshot. Gets a quad kill to save Take Flight, winning the force by single handedly.
Wow. So I'll be just fighting his way through these difficult rounds. Not the first time in this map either that he's been able to just pull a miracle out of thin air. He went from uh, he went from disconnected on the B bomb side of ancient to winning impossible clutches. Truly really incredible. Get him on dust too. It's necessary. I mean, 19 kills and still being down. It's wild. Down middle here. Uh, Dia could be a, a problem out long. The scout here for Darren middle is being quite finicky. And then an MP9 in lower tunnel. Are you kidding me? Are we just going to get forced by wars for this whole map? No one's one around their favorite in. Well, that would make too much sense, wouldn't it? Oh, and it's yeah, just going to continue to just inflict damage downrange. Infuriating nah. round. They can't get away with anything. No fun to be had for either team. They just they just shift walked forward. They just contact walked everywhere. And they just got blasted. They did not get a single kill here for Tay Flight versus the force. Scouts and pistols do it again. How long can we sustain this? This is always the big question. You know, whoever wins two in a row, first one to break that, uh, break that deadlock. And we've got a MAC-10 in play and four Tech Nines. We've got still little respect being shown. HE does so oh. much damage. One stuck inside the smoke. And lost a little bit there, though. What? A flying AK inside of it. He gets another one. Okay. <laughs> They're ready to put this madness to an end. And elevate to an 11th. We have devolved. Into madness. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Dare's just been having fun. So ridiculous, man. He's just jumping around inside of a smoke. It shouldn't work, but it does. Oh, the Glock train. Uh, when no one spends a dollar, the Glock train, a mythical beast, reveals itself this time. to go down and towards lower tunnels. We've got Dia. He's going to be the victim. First victim of the Glock train. But the Glock train, it's well known. It does not stop. It keeps moving. It is a continually flowing beast as it continues moving through the mid doors. Unfortunately, the Glock train always must come to an end. That is how the myth is foretold. It's 12 to 6. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy story time here on ECL Season 48? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was like, it was interesting. I know. I was, I was trying the, something the on the little fly. Glock train that could. By Shell do -do -do. Silverstein. Do -do 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 -do. We didn't get it. We did it for powered back up. Oh my goodness. Are we back online? The mouse has six? died. Oh man, look at this. There's mouse is not. Neither is uh, keyboard. It, I think his uh, keyboard actually has the W key pushed down right now. I don't know like if it's a bug or anything like that. You know, it happens to the best of us. Uh, do consider reinvesting in a new keyboard there if it's broken. Maybe he's got one of those keyboards where you just can't do too many inputs at one time or else it just shuts down. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean. He's got trapped in W mode. It's like his, it's like an old, you know, family keepsake from 2006, that keyboard. Oh, and then, <laughs> see you later. Nice boost. Try to get funny with it. Peace out. What is this and, angle? Oh, uh, Shane's angle. I love that angle. You yeah. kidding me? And then Servo just goes down. Shane ends it from long. 24 kills, 114 ADR for Shane. As Elevate will waltz through and 2 of the night. GG, but also quite easy elevates they are looking fantastic uh, again this is a